Hi friends, Saurav here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, with our last tutorial, with our last video, we have completed our figure series of tutorial. So today we are going to learn about cursor. This is also an important topic in Oracle actually, with job perspective as well as with you know certification or when you are dealing with PLSQL code. So at that time we heavily use this cursor thing. Okay. So what is cursor? I have written the complete thing here. I'll explain you everything one by one. Okay. So cursor is a pointer to a memory called context area. Actually, context area is a memory region inside the process global area. We call it as PGA as well, and it assigned to hold the information about the processing of a select statement or DML statement. Okay. And DML statements like insert, update, delete, merge, all those things. Okay, so uh, what is context area? Context area is a memory region inside the PGA which helps Oracle server in processing SQL statements by holding the information about the statement. Okay, now this uh, information includes a row returned by a query or number of rows processed by a query or a pointer to the past query in the shared pool. So all these things could happen. Okay, so uh, using cursor we can control the context area as it is a pointer to the same and how we can control we can control using explicit cursor So bef before moving ahead, I'll just let you know that there are two type of cursors uh, Implicit cursor and explicit cursor. What is the implicit cursor? It is a cursor which is automatically created by your Oracle server every time on a SQL st DML statement Execute okay. Whenever we are, uh, you know, executing a DML statements, every time uh, an internal uh, implicit cursor get created by SQL Server itself. So that is what is implicit cursor is. User cannot change or control the behavior of these cursors. We cannot actually we don't don't have any control on implicit cursor. It get created by uh, SQL uh, Oracle Server itself, and you know, it just done. The, their part and just get completed from there. Okay. Now, what is Oracle? Uh, what is that? Oracle server creates an implicit cursor in the background for any PLSQL block. Okay. Executes. It just created. It just creates, executes, and uh, and uh, SQL uh, statement as long as an explicit explicit cursor doesn't exist for that sql statement what does it mean that if you have if we have not created any explicit cursor on any dml uh, statement so at that time implicit cursor get created if we are creating any explicit cursor on that dml statement at that time our explicit cursor will start working over that all right okay so so after completing this implicit cursor what is we'll learn about what is explicit cursor explicit cursors are user defined cursor whatever we actually we can create explicit cursor okay and we could have full control on explicit cursor as you can see user has full control on explicit cursor we can you know modify or we can change the cursor as per our requirement so uh, what are the steps to create explicit cursor actually so here I have written we have four steps actually we have to declare the cursor first we have to open the cursor then we have to fetch the cursor value uh, we have to fetch the value into our cursor then we have to close the cursor okay so these four steps we have to for dealing with explicit cursor okay now what is declare what this declaration means declaration means like declaring a cursor means initializing a cursor into memory okay we define explicit cursor in declaration section of our plsql block actually so whenever we are defining a cursor we are initializing a cursor we have to write it in our declaration section all right and what are the syntax of uh, declaring a cursor just we have to write the keyword cursor then our cursor name this is all up to you this is all you know you can give any name to the cursor is then the select statement uh, you can write anything like select star for emp or select first name comma uh, last name from emp so this is all up to our requirements that it depends on that thing okay so this is how we can uh, create this cursor cursor then cursor name is select statement all right now let's uh, let's see what how we can do with open so after uh, declaring the cursor we have to open the cursor how we can open it in order to put that cursor to work we have to open it first all right so when we open a cursor the memory will be allotted to it and what's the syntax of that we will write a keyword open then the cursor name that's it and where we will write this we will write this in our execution section we will declare the cursor in our declaration section 
or we can say that we, we, we will be initializing initializing the cursor in our declare declare section and we will be open the cursor in our execution section okay so after opening the cursor we have to fetch the data in our cursor the process of retrieving the data from the cursor is called fetching all right how we can do that we have i have written syntax here the keyword fetch then the cursor name whatever the cursor name you want to give into our plsql variables so either you can you know you can uh, write it into plsql variables or plsql record so don't worry about this record when we will learn about records i'll explain you about the records in brief way all right so this is how we can fetch the value in our cursor actually okay after fetching the value we have to you know close the cursor so when the server comes across the closing the statement of a cursor it will be withdraw you know it will be it will withdraw all the resources associated associated with it actually okay so how we can uh, close a cursor we have to write the keyword close then cursor name this is again the same name what you have given actually okay so this is these are the processes to you know uh, to deal with explicit cursor so let's see uh, you know everything in one shot how we have written how we will how we can write actually so we have to uh, declare we have to use a you know keyword declare then we will write uh, we will declare or we will initialize the cursor using the keyword cursor and the cursor name and then is statement uh, select statement you can write anything here your select statement then we have to open the cursor using this open keyword open cursor name and then terminate it then we have this fetch keyword to fetch the value into our cursor so fetch cursor name into plsql variables then we have to close the cursor using close keyword so close then cursor name and then end the block so this is how we you know create our explicit cursor hope these uh, this theoretical session is understandable to you the concept and the this thing the cursor thing has you got the you got clear con concept about cursor okay so uh, if you want this writing in if you want this writing i'll give you no problem so for that i have actually created an application where where i'm you know where i'm uh, writing everything uh, all the codes and everything i'm writing there so i'll show you that application i have created an apex application actually i'll show you that application from there you can take all the codes whatever i have explained till today you can take everything from there so you can take this writing as well from there actually i'll give you a link in description below just go there and you know take your uh, take the advantage of that application i'll explain you about the example in my another video okay so that's it for today thanks for watching the tutorial thank you very much